welcome to the mystical land that is Joanna Land. I am your host, Joanna Dryling, and I am beyond excited to be on this journey of transformation over a lifetime with you. This is a space dedicated to your highest evolution and our collective igniting a deeper humanhood. Let's roll, baby. What is up, beautiful human? Welcome back to this week's episode of Joanna Land, the podcast. And this week we are talking about one of my favorite things, and that is home. And we are talking about home in all the ways that I love talking about home. And this is actually all proprietary information of Agape Amplified, otherwise known as Joanna Land, um, otherwise known as the Hype Home Company. And I just want to admit in that because this is all things that have that have come through me and my being, my channel, my person to bring to you. I teach courses around this. I am helping people process their lives through this in this way. And so I am saying this purely out of protection for what is about to come out of my mouth. <laughs> and I, yeah, again, teaching courses on it. Like I could talk about this for so long. I am obsessed with it. And it's something I've kind of hinted at and sort of talked about on the podcast a couple of times now. And that's kind of why I'm actually diving into it today. So let's talk about it. Home. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Honestly, home is one of those things to me. Like when I ask you, what is home? What do you think of? What is home? And how do you define home? Because to me, home is one of those things that is really tough to define. And it is tough to define because it can be so many different things. It can hold so many different meanings. Home by definition to me is any sort of space or place that incites a feeling of belonging, that spurs a feeling of belonging. And the key thing is the feeling of belonging. And so now from this place, let me introduce to you the layers of home, which are the things that I've talked about in the podcast before. And I believe that there are layers of home because home is a multidimensional thing. It is an undefinable thing. And there are layers to it because our body is our first and foremost home. This will never leave me. This is always what I'm going to be living in. No matter what is around me and no matter where I am laying my head to rest, this is always the head that I am laying to rest. So then by definition, this body is my first home. This is the first layer of home in the world of energetic design. And that is the, the actual name that I use for this work. Um, and which is not one of the things that I mentioned before, but you know, it's okay. <laughs> It, like energetic design is the work of agape amplified and so the body is that first layer of home because it is our first inhabited place it's our home is our is our body now when i defined home i also called it a sense of belonging so this inherently define implies that there is a sense of belonging around being in your body around being the soul incarnate like me being Joanna Dryling as much as I may resist and sometimes like me but me be me feeling at home and a feeling of belonging inside who I am as Joanna Dryling and that I'm here to tell you that if you do not feel a sense of home within yourself and within your body that is the first layer of work because if you can feel a level of home within your body if your body can feel like your first home you can feel safe anywhere you walk anywhere your feet go and anywhere you may move and that is a really powerful place to be and that is partially why I love this work that's partially why I live this work it's partially why I share this work is because when we can allow that layer of home, the first layer of home, when we can allow the body to be at home in itself, which is not an easy task. To actually feel at home in the body is not an easy task, but when we can actually allow 
the body that it will signi- it will live in safety it will signify safety for the body because of its sense of belonging if there's a sense of belonging you feel safe right do you not right yes home in the body and if we can again like if that is in lock and if it's not in lock i invite you to do the work to do so and because when it, it can be in lock and i'm not even saying that i'm like fully integrated in it but i am way more integrated than i used to be it's like that my body i feel at home i feel at peace in my body i feel confident in my body even when it's holding a few more pounds even this but i feel at home and I feel a sense of belonging in who I am as Joanna Dryling. And I implore and I like really, I say that every freaking video, but I, but genuinely, if there's nothing else that you get from watching my channel, go find home within your body and go find a sense of belonging in your body because you will find so many other solutions magically to a lot of your other problems. Um, I know I did. <laughs> And that brings me to the second layer of home, which this is not my actual home, but we are here dog sitting, but this serves as a great example. Um, because the second layer of home is your home, your external environment. And we can also include like your family, your friends in this category because they're in the external environment and they're kind of like, they are what we traditionally think is home. Like we want the second layer of home is what we traditionally think is home. It is the architecture in which we live in and fall asleep in. It is the bed. It is where we eat. It is where we pray. It is where we relax. It is where we frolic. It is, you know, that is home. And that is a house. The second layer of home is the house layer of home. And it is the piece of you that is constantly not unlike your actual body but it also exactly like your actual body is also always an evolution even when we are not actually processing it as being an evolution and even if we're not evolving it ourselves by going through our belongings and tidying everything up like our house is also like the plants around it are always growing the things inside it are depreciating most likely like the appliances are there's an evolution occurring inside of the home but that's not really it but the thing is is that everything is energy so then if we are operating and we are becoming aware of the vibration that is within us then we need to become aware of the vibration that exists outside of us you know what has the greatest impact on you on a day-to-day -day basis on your internal vibration is the architecture the home in which you live in and the architecture in which you're inhabiting in which you're going into on a day-to-day -day basis like the coffee shop like the office like the la 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 the grocery store whatever all of that is having an energetic impact on your body which is part of why i call this work energetic design because this work is about designing the energy of your world to work in a way where it's synergistic to get you feeling like you feel at home in your life in your world and in your body and that's like really what this shit is all about you can tell i love this because i'm just so hype on it um the second layer of home, yes. Yeah. So the biggest impact that is being made on your body, on it, like, yes, it's also, like, yes, we are putting food in our body, but you know how much your architecture and all of your belongings, like, you can think of your belongings also, they are attached to your energetic body in a way. They are a part of the entity that is you as your being. And if we can find a sense of home, again, let's bring it back, let's find a sense of belonging inside of our actual house, what are we going to do? We're probably actually going to make it more like ourselves. We're going to make it exude our soul essence. We're going to make it be and express more of our values inside of our home. If we really want it to be a sense of belonging inside of our home, again, we're going to cultivate safety. We're going to cultivate peace. We're going to cultivate whatever it is that we want to cultivate that helps us feel a sense of belonging in our external environment whether or not we have a family that is with us or not. Because if it's your, if, it, if we are talking about a family, apply your family's values. And then that will be how you end up having your house. Now, if you have the capacity to design a custom home, I highly recommend you do so. Or if you have the capacity to renovate your home, 
whatever, because your architecture, the bones of your house are going to give you the greatest capacity for expansion because a really dingy house is going to make you feel way different than a house like the way that my house in Roanoke feels, my home base feels. It feels expansive because of its vaulted ceilings. So it's a very different thing. And when you have the capacity to do that, I highly recommend it. And even if you don't, I also know and have very much, I, I lots of experience in creating spaces that still feel like home, that still allow for expansion, even when the architecture is not lending itself to do so, which is otherwise known to the rest of the world as feng shui. And that's really where feng shui is at least where all of those things come together then to really have you uh, have all of the energy of your life in flow and the energetic design. So that brings me to our third layer of home, which is the earth home, which is our great home and the mother home that we live on and here in this world behind me is that like our third layer of home is the earth home that we live in is all of the trees and everything. Now, the trees and everything, LOL, she says. The trees, the mountains, the water, everything. Because that is also a layer of home. That is the biggest macro element of home. If this is the micro element of home, this is the macro element of home, okay? So that is our macro element of home. Now, let's think about this. Let's back up. Now, in terms of our energetic design, in terms of designing the energy of our life, we're not going to go out here and design the world necessarily, right? We're not. But what we can design in the world that is of the world is our money and our wealth. So how we create money in the world and how we then bring money back, how we receive money and then how we give money. So how we, our vocation, how we are making money, how we are making our living, and then we, how we are circulating and how we are spending our money, how we are investing our money. So think about it as investing our time, investing in our money. And this layer of home, I think about it as wealth because that is what you have the most control over when it comes to the earth home. Like we're not allowed here being politicians. That's not our life goal. But you know where we vote every day is with our dollar and how we, how we spend and how we invest our money is how we vote every single day. And it is how these single individuals, I sometimes get so caught up, I get so fast, but that is how single individuals create impact in the earth home is by shifting the way that they spend their dollar and their wealth and also how they create it because I'm shifting and disrupting the system by being an entrepreneur and all the creators out there are also as well then, or you can be creating through a corporate environment and you can also be creating through a corporate environment that you actually enjoy working in or you could be creating an environment where you actually dislike working in it. And the key thing within wealth, and I think the key thing with, with wealth, wealth creation in particular, and I might get some beef on this, but is a, making money in a way that you actually enjoy. Because if, again, that is, if you make money in a way that you actually enjoy, that is fueling your life force. But if you go in and the way that you make a living makes you hate your living, then what do you think that's going to do to you energetically? We need to design that. Okay, we need to look at that and see how we want to actually circulate the, with the money. Now, on the flip side, in the actual circulation, in the actual output, we biggest thing that I, I see most people and the biggest issue for most people is overspending. And that's a whole podcast for another time. But in this layer of home, we want to get mindful of where we are putting our dollar. Once again, we go back to our values are the values, are we where we're putting our money every single day in alignment with the values for what we want to see for ourselves and our lives, our future family, the future world, the visions that we have? What is it? Is like you spending money on alcohol every single weekend in alignment with your financial vision of owning a fucking campground? No, it's probably not. Just going to go ahead and call you out there, honey. Um, just speaking my example, but that's just the example of how wealth, how wealth is the earth home impact of an energetic design. So that is all the layers of home. First up, we have the body home. Second up, we have the house home. And third up, we have the earth home. And all of these together are the layers of home that I teach as energetic design 
and all of these are a part of the tidy guide and all of these i have made this tidy guide it is called it is really like a guide on how to live your best life without escaping your reality that is the aim of the thing i absolutely love this work energetic design is my bread and butter and if this called to you in any way i invite you to send me an email um, I also have a link, which is joannaland.co slash work with JD. Um, that will tell you all of the current offerings that I have at this current moment in time. And as I mentioned, I have my, um, my how my tidy guide, which yes, is also called how to live your less life without escaping your reality. Because if you could feel a sense, if you could feel a sense of belonging in your body, in your home and on the earth, would you not always be creating and living your best life? Life. Let me ask you that. Like, if you were to bring all of those together and have all of your layers of home working in its energy, would you not be living your best life? And you'd be living your best life without escaping your reality, would you not? I'm just saying. Anyways, that's my life work. My, straight up, that is my life's work summed up right there. And I'm telling you that this tidy guide is the bare bones for my book one day. It is the bare bones for my work one day. Um, because that's like this work. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> it's very powerful. And I'm so excited to begin sharing more and more about this. I, I always say that, but the layers of home and getting to share this with you. And like, I, I just think more and more about how so many lives could be changed and so many people could be living better lives. I, I'm not even out there like, we don't even need to be like living our best, best lives. We just need to be living better lives, like, and just more enjoyed, more enriched, more lo loved, you know? Uh, anyways, that is what we are about. Um, that is why the layers of home, that is why energetic design exists is so that we can actually live our best lives without escaping our reality and like live our best lives without going on a bougie vacation, without having to escape our reality. Ha. Once again, thank you so much for listening to this week's episode of the podcast. If this called to you in any way, I invite you to subscribe, follow, do all the things, leave a review, whatever you feel called to do. I love you so much and I thank you for being here and I'll see you next time.